Good morning, everybody. What a great morning it is. What a wonderful morning it is. Monday, Monday the 23rd, Monday the 23rd and uh, of January, and it's time for Morning Manna. Got some manna for your day this day, and uh, so glad that you permit me to be a part of your life. Permit me to come into your home, your device, whatever the case may be, on your job, um, wherever it is, in the car. I'm just thankful that you permit me to be a part of that, to give some morning manna for your day so that you can grow by. want to encourage you, would you please share the manna and would you give me some comments as well as some likes and some hearts that let me know whether or not I'm on target or not and that we can reshare and reflect throughout the day. Now, uh, I don't know about you. I'm going to get right into this morning's manna. But Friday, Friday, I had it up to about here with all of this transition of power, all of this transition of power and this inauguration and all of this discussion about, oh, from power from one party to another party. And this is the peaceful transition of power. And over and over and over again, they were talking about this. And it occurred to me and it came in my spirit that are you kidding me? Don't well, none of you have power. Let me give you the text so you'll know what I'm talking about. The text is this, Romans 13 and 1. Romans 13 and 1. And it says, everyone must submit to government authorities for there is no authority except that which God established. Let me say that again. Everyone must submit to government authority but there is no authority except that which God established. There is no power except that, that God has granted it to a government or to anyone. So when we get in this whole thing of President Obama, former President Obama, talking about that they're transferring power to now President Trump, both of them are wrong. The news media is wrong when it comes to this whole transition of power, because all power rests in God. And here's the talk that I need you to get with respect to all power rest in God. The first thing is this, that God gives you and I the power. He gives you and I the power. He gives you and I the power. So here's the second thing is, is that you can't waste your power. You got to have a power surge. You got to have a power surge. They don't have the power in D.C. They don't have the power in Springfield. They don't have the power in whatever uh, state government uh, capital, wherever you are, maybe look, watching right now. The fact is, is that no power doesn't exist until God gives the power and he gives that power to you and I. So let's stop walking around here as if we are weak and we have something to fear because he gives us the power. The third thing is don't abuse the power that he gives you. Don't abuse the power that he gives you. Apply the power to powerless situations, powerless people, and powerless circumstances. Because you have a power surge from God Almighty. Here's the takeaway this morning that I need you to get. Here it is, a little bit long. Jesus said, upon his resurrection and his ascension to our Father in heaven, he says, I have all power and all authority in my hands. And then he gives it to you and I. He gives, and therefore we can tread on the heads of scorpions. So whatever you're dealing with right now, your takeaway this morning is this. You have all power in your hands and you can tread on the enemy. Whatever the enemy looks like on your job, in your family, in your situation, tread on his head because you have all power that is given to you. They didn't transition any power that God didn't give them. He's given it to us. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you and give you peace as you have a power surge throughout the day. Bye now. See you on tomorrow morning with more Morning Man.